Mark's Kathy Wood forecasts robo taxis could generate 34 trillion U.S. dollars in enterprise value by 2030. Well, she's mostly focused on Tesla and Waymo. Let's unpack what this means for Baidu, China's leader in the space, by taking a look at the company's latest quarterly results. Welcome back to Bamboo Works. While the world's been debating AI's potential for two years now, China's tech giants are also racing to deploy it, with DeepSeek supercharging this conversation. Today, we'll look at Baidu's results for the fourth quarter of 2024 and the full year, where robo-taxis and AI clouds aren't just buzzwords, they're quickly emerging as future profit drivers. Before we go any further, let's break down some of the headline numbers first from Baidu's latest financial report. The company's Q4 revenue held steady year-on-year at around $4.7 billion U.S. dollars. Its net income doubled to $711 million. Its Baidu core revenue, which includes the company's search business, was stable at about $3.8 billion. Its non-advertising revenue rose 18% year-on-year, reaching $1.34 billion, mainly driven by AI cloud business. Many believe that autonomous driving will be one of the most promising opportunities to fully harness the potential of AI on a large scale. The global robo-taxi race is already heating up, especially between the U.S. and China, with Google-backed Waymo and Baidu's Apollo Go leading the charge in their respective countries. In the rearview mirror, we see GM has ceased funding its cruise autonomous vehicle unit, and Tesla isn't set to produce its cyber cab until next year. In mainland China, Apollo Go logged over 1.1 million rides last Q4, up 36% from the previous year. That puts it almost neck and neck with Waymo in terms of total annual rides, while both companies have been looking at opportunities to operate in markets outside their home country. Last November, Apollo Go secured permits to conduct testing on open roads in Hong Kong, making it the only company to receive robo-taxi testing authorization in the city. Hong Kong represents Apollo Go's first entry into a right-hand drive, left-hand traffic market, which accounts for more than a third of the global transportation market. In February, Apollo Go reached a milestone by operating with 100% driverless vehicles across China. Baidu founder and chairman Robin Lee has also been on the move to promote Apollo Go internationally. In a fireside chat at the World Government Summit in Dubai with the UAE's AI minister, Omar Sultan al Olama, he shared that Apollo Go's vehicles only have 1 14th the number of insurance claims compared with human-driven cars. Right after that chat, the Wall Street Journal revealed that Baidu is in talks to bring Apollo Go's robo-taxis to the UAE. Testing could start as early as the first half of this year. It's shaping up to be an exciting showdown between Apollo Go and Uber in the UAE. In the future, we may also see Waymo teaming up with Zeker to help Dubai reach its goal of 25% autonomous driving by 2030. On Baidu's earnings call, Robin Lee also hinted at the possibility of collaboration with other parties to roll out robo-taxi services. He said Baidu has identified a variety of potential partners, including mobility service providers, local taxi companies, third-party fleet operators, and other potential partners. This asset light approach will allow them to scale up efficiently while maintaining flexibility. The autonomous driving revolution is just beginning. Let's watch to see how Baidu leverages its experience and resources gained from early adoption to stay ahead of the pack. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more updates on China's evolving business landscape. See you next time.